Nationals were processed in court late this afternoon after they were handed over by police to the Belize City branch of the Immigration Department. They are 34-year-old Jose Antonio Arevalo, 27-year-old Maria Daisy Leon Tobias, 25-year-old Jose Abdulio Escobar, 22-year-old Ubaldo Murillo, and a 17-year-old minor. Reports are that sometime after 4 this morning, this white van with orange walk license plate number CO4431 was transporting some 15 illegal persons, both males and females, when it was intercepted at the police checkpoint near the Boyle Boom Junction with the Philip Golson Highway. The driver of the vehicle spotted the authorities as he exited the Boyle Boom Road and diverted towards Belize City. This alerted the authorities who pursued him until the vehicle reportedly came to a stop near an open lot some 200 yards from the checkpoint. The occupants lighted the van and escaped into nearby bushes. Police reportedly fired shots at the tires to avoid the immigrants from fleeing, but only five, one female and four males, were captured and detained by Ladyville police. They were later handed over to the immigration department and charged with illegal entry. A manhunt is on the way for the other 10 individuals, including the driver of the van. Sources close to News 5 say that the Salvadorans were en route to the northern border with Mexico after they illegally entered the country through the western border with Guatemala by river. The incident is believed to be an organized ring. Another alleged human smuggling case reportedly occurred on Monday night, this time in Georgeville, Cayo. Sometime around 9.30 p.m., another white van similar to that impounded at the Ladyville station was confiscated in the West and its driver detained. News 5 was reliably informed that the van, occupied by a number of illegal immigrants, was chased by immigration and police officers. The driver managed to evade the officers, but when the police caught back up with the van, the occupants were no longer inside. The van and driver was subsequently detained. According to our sources, the two incidents may be linked. In both cases, the non-Belizeans are still at large and investigations continue into the alleged smuggling. Dwayne Moody for News 5.